Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Uh, today I have a special guest, as you can see, sitting over here. Uh, my son is uh, down visiting from up north, and uh, he brought a uh, brought a little gift for me. Uh, his name is Charles. Also, I'm Charles. Can I ask? <laughs> but he brought down uh, in uh, uh, some MREs and stuff, and he had ordered and had them shipped down here and. Uh, wanted us to try you know some out um he picked them up online uh he got them on amazon um roughly you know about 40 between 40 and 50 bucks but you get quite a few different meals in in all this um and they have a good shelf life if it's something you're looking for your your survival um prepping uh they have stuff that's uh kind of you know easy compact easy to store um, relatively easy to heat up um, we're gonna try them just like they are here because you can eat them just like this uh, if you if you wanted to heat them up um, you can put them in like uh, a pot of hot water right yep so you boil your pot of water and then once you get ready to heat them up you want to put them on a slow boil which is like medium medium well like heat almost or medium high I should say um, and then once you put them in, you just let them cook for several minutes, about five to eight minutes. Um, or when you get the actual whole MRE, you know, the little discrepancy, these aren't actual whole MREs. These are just the meals. These are just the dinner meals. So when you order like an actual MRE, you get the heating element, which there are plenty, you know, videos on it. But we could do a video eventually once it gets to that point. Well, he could. Yeah. Um, and that's a different way of heating them up. Kind of use water too. But... And they have a pack or something that comes with them, right? That's yeah. Like a heating pack or something that heats them up? Yeah, you crack you crackle, you crack the heating element and you pour the amount of water that you need into it and you set it in there and it just heats them up. I think you have to like tip it upside down, I think. I'm not totally certain. But And then, you know, once again, I mean, even, I mean, push come to shove if you were out uh, in the woods or something or, um, you know, if you had a fire and you had a... A cup, a little bowl, you know, stainless steel or something that you, your your canteen holder. Uh, you could always if, uh, open these up and put them in there and heat them up by a fire or something too, probably. You know? Yeah. Uh, just to heat them up. Um, and they do come with uh, all the nutritional facts. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but everything comes. You know, it tells you breaks down exactly. You know, all your calories. Um, you know, I mean, they're they're high calories. Uh, you're, a lot of ca carbs, um, fiber, uh, lots of protein, and, and quite a few of these. Um, and also, be reminded there's a lot of sodium in it. Yeah, yeah. The, the sodium is high, but it, that's going to be in, I think, just about any any type of uh, food that comes like in an MRE of this kind uh, to preserve it. Yeah. You know, uh, but your body does need salt also to survive if uh something happens and uh, uh say you're you're stuck out in the woods or uh you're you're doing a long track you know you're going out for six seven days and it's hot, especially if it's hot you need salt in your body to maintain your body yeah that's why like now it's you know at least right now i mean all the, eventually going in always they tell you if you're hiking or if you're working in the heat and all that, have like a bag of Lay's potato chips just yeah. to get that salt in, into your body as well. Because not only do you need water, but when you, you know, when you're getting overheated, you also exert that sodium in your body. And that's why you get that white film and stuff all over, you know, your clothes and things. That's all the salt coming out of your body. And that you, you, you're right, you need to replenish and, and put that back in there. Um, some of these meals sound really good. You know, you got cheese tortellini. Um, elbow mac macaroni uh, and tomato sauce. You got you know, beef taco, um, penny with vegetables and, and sausage, uh, beef ravioli and meat sauce, uh, chili mac, uh, hash browns, uh, potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. That sounds really good. What do you got over and there? And then these are, we got a white chicken and Alfredo sauce. We have a couple of those. Yeah. And then the only other one is a spaghetti with beef. So, you know, these right here are good. Uh, this is 2020. Um, these right here are good uh, still until probably 2025 to 2026, somewhere in that area. Um, that's the best uh, buy date to, to, to eat them. 
Um, I have seen on you know some of the YouTube channels where they open up some of these MREs that are years old and uh, they're still good. So I mean, there's so many preservatives in them. You know, they're meant to the last. Yeah. At that time, they might not be the greatest, but if you're in that survival situation, hell, you need some you need some food. So what we're gonna do is we're both gonna pick one of these. And like I said, you know, we're not going to heat it up. We're going to try it right out of the pouch because these are ready to go. So, you know, if you were out somewhere and you couldn't heat it up, we want to know what it would taste like if it's cold. So if you're, if you're like, you know, uh, you got stuck, you got lost somewhere, or, you know, you just don't have the ability, the, uh, ability to build a fire or to heat them up, how do these things taste eating them right out of a pouch without any heat, without anything? So that's what we want to know. I'm pretty sure if we heated all these up, they'd probably be really good. Yeah, probably be a bit better. I mean, like, you, you know. know, but, you know, we want to know, you know, because something may happen that you can't heat it up. Yeah. So we're going to find out. Um, what are you thinking about trying? I think I might do the beef ravioli and meat sauce. That's pretty good. All right, he's going to try the beef ravioli meat sauce. And I'm going to try the white chicken and Alfredo sauce. So he's going to do a, like a spaghetti sauce, and I'm going to do like an Alfredo sauce. Now, like I said, you know, it does break down, you know, you know your all your information that you need, your, your nutritional. Uh, in this pack, the calories are 330 um uh, calories uh, there's 17 grams of fat uh, cholesterol is 80 sodium is 910 that's what we're talking about you know sodium is very high in, in a lot of these yeah uh, two fiber 27 carbs six sugars and 17 grams of protein and then it also has vitamin D calcium iron um, and vitamin A this is not bad I mean that's actually pretty good you know, but you know, you you would use these for you know if you're going out hiking or if you're going on a you know uh, an excursion or something, going out in the woods for a few days. You know, if you wanted to throw a couple of these in your pack, they're pretty. You know, I mean, they're very lightweight. Um, oh yeah, I mean these are they don't weigh anything to me. I mean, it's, it's like this one's only eight ounces. Like that's food, but you know, it's not it's not that much. Yeah, I mean, and they take up no room. You know. Yep. So let's rip one of these suckers open and see what we get here. All right. Now, when you get like full MREs too, you, not only do you get like the dinner, you know, meals and all that, but you get, you know, I mean, they, they vary. You can get like crackers, you know, like you know, jelly, bread, you know, some of them actually have like some sweets in it, you know, like some candies or that type of thing. So it smells really good. Now remember, these aren't hot, so I'm sure if these were hot, they'd be a lot better. It kind of looks like, um, almost like macaroni and cheese, you know, a lot of cheese. Yeah. That, you know, funny enough, I've actually seen some videos on, not exactly normal MREs, but people, um, like the ones that you showed in your yeah. big blue bags, so I've seen some that have that, and they've had like, um, ravioli type thing. I can thing. really smell that. That's yeah, really well, good. this one to me um, smells like uh, Jeff Boyardee, kind of funny enough. That's what it smells oh, like. Oh, yeah, it me. does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can see the, the, the chunks of chicken in here. Yeah. I mean, it's probably very hard for you you guys to see it, but, well, here goes nothing. Yeah, well, it's a good scoop on it. That's delicious. No, that's actually pretty good. Obviously, it's a little weird. Cold. Cold because the sauce isn't like it's warm and like yeah. dripping. And... But that's actually not bad. It's real chicken. You want to taste? Yeah, you can taste this one. Right. Yeah, put some. We're not going to die. Nope. It looks like Chef 4 rd too. <laughs> I told you. Oh, this looks really good. Wow. Yeah. Seems like you just got out of a restaurant or you made it yourself. Can't, this is very good. I mean. Can't see though, like after 
probably eating this whole thing, you would need your canteen or whatever of water because yeah. it is kind of salty. Yeah. But you know what? Again, if you're in the wilderness, you really need food. You you got to eat. I mean, at that point, it's like you got to kind of overcome that saltiness. You need to get that nutrients in your body, even though it's not the probably the healthiest nutrients. I would say, if there any way possible, definitely to heat it up. Yeah. Um, anyway, you know, uh, with these packs, I would almost say, if you had to, because of the style of the pack, if you could somehow <clears throat> take this and put it inside and put it next to your body to at least start to warm it up, you know, like if the, you had on a, a, a tighter shirt, you know, a t-shirt or something underneath something that would hold it there, or, you know, maybe your strap from your backpack might hold it right, you know, right there. Yeah. And, you know, at least that would warm it up because <clears throat> they're really thin. Oh, yeah. That would warm it up to basically right around your body temperature eventually. You know, then it actually if you're hiking and stuff and you're generating heat, it would, it would warm it up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, that you, or maybe with, you know, at the same time, maybe if you have, you know, solar packs and all, you could probably put it right next to the sun and keep it in the sun for like, you know, yeah. plan it ahead. Yeah. You, know, you do you it for like at least an hour and like you flip it and then see if it just gets a little warm. Yeah. Like put it on a... Uh, you know, get it off the ground on a piece of wood or a rock or something. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, eating a cold, I mean, they do taste really good, oh, you yeah. know, but I mean, if you really need to, I can right see gas, you know, if you're a little stove that you're camping, you know, for your camping stove, you're carrying around, you ran out of gas and you have you know, you have still looking for gas and all that. If you really need to eat a cold, I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. And then, you know, something else to think about too, if you have a pot or something, some way that you still, you know, sterilize your water in. Um, uh, while you're sterilizing your water and you have that boiling, you could always drop one of these in there while you're sterilizing your water and you're killing two birds with stone. You're going to get fresh water and you're going to heat up your meal and, yeah. you know, then you get done and, you know, you just kill two birds with one stone. Oh yeah. But I mean, for the money, um, like I said, you got them right off Amazon, um, what was the name of the, the kind they of were um, Captain Dave's like brand. I mean, there's so many different types of like, yeah. yeah people we, or companies I think that really make yeah. it. You know, like these like these guys shipped out of you know, these ones were made in Cincinnati, you know, Ohio. So Which is nice, made in America. You know, I mean that's a good thing, you know, and especially nowadays. You know, but uh, for, for the average prepper, you know, to have these, I mean, you could store these. They take up no room because, uh, you know, a lot of people run into two issues of, you know, when you're storing your products and stuff. Well, you know, I don't have any more room. I don't have any more room. I mean, you could you could put these in a, a little drawer or something or, you know, oh, just, yeah. and just, you know, as it says, you know, on the, the directions on the other side, <clears throat> on some of these, you know, they tell you. You know, to make sure you, if you store them properly, you know, obviously you don't want to store them out in a hot garage or, you know, they, where they can freeze. Um, I would say, you know, just put them in your closet or uh, you know, like a dresser drawer or, you know, store them inside uh, in your pantry or something. And they, yeah. they take up no room and you get all these meals, you know, you're talking what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You get 12 meals. Yeah. You know, and you don't I really have to, I mean, if you, if you had to conserve, you know, just eat half and well, then yeah. some of them do say, you know, if you don't really eat it, you know, you can, you know, save it, you know, I always eat the store properly because then, you know, then it'll start really going because yeah. obviously it's been sealed up for so long, but they tell you on the back of some of them how to keep them preserved. So, you you know, if you'd only ate half of it because, you know, you're, you don't want to feel too full of your, you're like hiking somewhere, you know, but you want to eat, you know, the rest of it when you get there, then as long as you have the proper storage or container to store them in. Yeah. Should be good. Well, that's why, you know, I've said in a couple of my videos, you know, like, and you always want to maybe have a, um, carry extra like Ziploc bags or something for something like this. So if you just wanted to stop and eat half now, and then you could eat half later, you have something to put it in. So it doesn't get all over everything in your pack or however you want to carry it. Oh yeah. You know, I mean that way there, you know, and Ziploc bags take up no room either, mm -hmm. you know, and they're lightweight, 
you and, know, for everybody that's out there with the lightweight packs. Oh yeah, and I think it would, this would be great. You know, if you're like some of the common common man or woman that weren't able to get like waterproof backpacks or waterproof, you know, small packs. Um, you know, you're worried about oh, you're bringing like kind of some more drier goods, or you know, you're worried about stuff getting wet. You know, not only these are kind of more compact, like you know, he yeah. said, but you know, they can't get wet. I mean, these can get ruined. Yeah, you know, the biggest thing you just have to be careful of is where you put them in your pack. Uh, um, so if you had um, knives or any type of tool or something, so it just doesn't puncture it. You know. Yeah. But if you had it like you know. Uh, in the top part of your pack or or with your extra clothes or something like that you know you wouldn't have to worry about that um or if you needed to go like you know on a, like a two-day hike if you know you're running low on supplies at your little camp you know but you know you don't want to bring everything and you don't want to leave your camp you know these are these would be great you know you bring two of them and you if you could split them between the day you know if you're rationing they're perfect yeah yeah exactly so you, leave, you leave more space for supplies you know, so, but, you know, this is a uh, survival preparedness for beginners. You know, we, uh, I've been trying to, you know, get things out there um, and uh, to show people that, you know, there, there's different ways of doing different things. And uh, my son has come down and, you know, from up north and, and he brought these with him and, uh, um, you know, wanted to do a video on them because I haven't done one yet. And uh, uh, so thank you for that. Oh, you're Thanks very for, welcome. For, for coming down here and. Um, you know, these are, these are really cool. Um, like I said, they take up hardly any space, uh, relatively if you break it down, you know, you know, you can shop around, maybe you can find them a little bit cheaper, but you know, for 40, between 40 and 50 bucks for 12, you know, 12 for, dinner meals for 12 meals that are all ready to go. All you have to do is just, you know, heat them up. Um, or just open them up in the end. You know, that's not too bad. You know, you go out to a restaurant, you know, most meals cost you an average of, you know, eight to ten bucks. You know, so, I mean. It's pretty good for your, you know. Yeah. Bang for your buck. Yeah, and the taste is really good. I mean, even being that, you know, they're not warm. Well, yeah, you know, especially you know, for for being Florida standards, you know, by how cool it's been. You know, yeah. it's pretty cool in here. You know, these weren't that bad. You know, they're really not that cold. Yeah. You know? I was kind of surprised at that. That was my thing. I was like, oh, man, it's going to be really cold. And yeah, you know. So this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Um, I thank you for everything that you do for my channel, for, for watching my videos. Um, uh, if you would, please, you know, hit the like button and hit subscribe. Uh, click that bell so uh, every time I do a video, um, you'll get notified. And once again, I'd like to thank my son for being here. He's been in the video with me today, and he brought these uh products down here for us to try out um and uh we may just have to go in and heat some up and uh try them out yeah so i'll have to do that until next time i'll catch you on the flip side